Every day is a busy day for the engines of Mr. Percival's railway. They tooted hello as they passed each other on the hills. Huffed and puffed at the transfer yards, and pushed and pulled freight cars at the wharf. Early one morning, Thomas was at the wharf. He liked the wharf. It was busy, and he met a lot of his friends there. But today, Thomas was hunting freight cars, and the freight cars were being especially troublesome. It was taking all of Thomas's puff to keep them in order. Then Arthur arrived. Hello, Thomas. I am to cut a car of flour to make cakes and bread for the children's harvest festival supper. To the Arthur, I wish Sir Topham Hat had given me that job. Chuffed Thomas. It will be so much more fun than shunting freight cars. Arthur was feeling very pleased with himself. First, I have to take on water, he said politely. Please send the flower car over for me, Thomas. Of course, Arthur. But Thomas didn't want to shun any more cars. It meant his job would go on for even longer. Thomas found the flower car outside the warehouse. He wanted to move Arthur's car as quickly as he could, so Thomas wasn't taking care. He biffed the car very hard, and the door came loose. But Thomas didn't see. An idea flew into his funnel. I'll hide Arthur's car, then he will have to find me. Thomas thought. Hide and seek was a grand idea. Arthur came back from the water tower. He saw Thomas in the distance, and Arthur saw that falling from the car was a trail of flour. Stop, Thomas! Whistled Arthur. Flour is falling out of your car. But Thomas was too far away to hear. Thomas puffed into the warehouse to find somewhere to hide. More and more flour fell from the car. Arthur chased after Thomas. Thomas heard him coming. How does he know where I am? Thought Thomas. Thomas, the flower! Whistled Arthur. But Thomas couldn't hear him. Arthur won't find me this time. He thought. Thomas was having fun. Thomas found another good place to hide. Arthur will never find me here," he hooted happily. But then he heard Arthur's whistle again. "Bust my buffers!" chuffed Thomas. "He's found me again." So Thomas puffed off. Thomas had reversed behind some freight cars. Arthur will never find me here," he tooted cheerily. But just then. He saw Arthur come around the bend. Thomas puffed Arthur. He was very worried. You've left a trail of flour all over the wharf. Cinders and ashes! cried Thomas. I must have biffed the car so hard that the door came loose. Thomas didn't feel cheery anymore. If I've lost all the flour. There be no cakes and bread for the children's harvest festival supper," he wished sadly. "I'm sorry, Arthur," he chuffed. "I'll get you another car of flour. Then you won't be late for the children." Thomas raced away. Thomas puffed and he huffed. He wished and he whooshed. He had to get to the mail as fast as he could. Then there was trouble. When Thomas arrived at the mill, it was closed. Thomas looked around. He could see only see empty flower cars. Thomas felt sadder than ever. Dusty Dave, the miller, came to see Thomas. He could see that Thomas was very upset. 
I'm going home for my supper now, he told Thomas. But there is one full flower car right at the back. Thomas saw the flower car, but there are lots of other cars in the way. He needed to help. Thomas rushed back to the wharf. He would have to ask Arthur to help him. Arthur was waiting. He was still very worried. Thomas pulled up alongside him. Arthur, I know you tried to tell me about the flower, and I know I was silly, but now I need your help. Arthur knew that Thomas was sorry, and he knew Thomas needed his help. So they set off for the mill. Arthur and Thomas worked hard. There are lots of freight cars to shunt, but they worked well together. And soon, the flower car was coupled up to Arthur, and he raced off. Thomas felt proud of his friend. Later that evening, Sir Topham Hatt stood by a table of wonderful breads and cakes. The children were very excited. Thomas puffed by on his way home. Well done, Arthur! He tooted. And Arthur tooted back. Thomas was pleased that Arthur was his friend again. And Thomas smiled all the way back to Timid Sheds.